Okay y'all, uh, so when I first got into the tech space, I went through a huge culture shock. When it came to the people, what I was gonna be learning, what I was working on, all of that was just so new to me and I kinda didn't know what to expect. So a trend I saw on YouTube is a lot of people do videos on why you should not become a software engineer. And I was always like, what are these people doing? I, I didn't really watch those videos. However, I took the plunge. I watched some of them over this past week. These videos were so dope because it talks about some parts of software engineering that maybe some channels wouldn't talk about. And it can also show people kind of what to expect. So Scene Goddess, another YouTuber who I adore, she had a little twist on this. And her twist was, before you become a software engineer, you should know this. So that is exactly the approach I want to take with this video as well. So before you become a software engineer, you should know this. We should definitely talk about the tech culture and the people. So let's start with the positives. Oh, it's not really positive, but just like the neutrals, the facts of things. So a lot of people are gamers and into anime. And for me, walking in, I was not any of that. Closest I got to anime was like Teen Titan. Shout out to anyone that watched Teen Titans growing up. But yeah, that was just one thing. And you might be like, girl, why are you even bringing this up? That's not a big thing. I mean, part of why I was in a whole culture shock is that things I grew up loving, I couldn't really talk to people about it. So for example, growing up, I was watching like Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven, Sister Sister, The Proud Family, like all those different shows. And people just had never heard of them. So it's just like, I mean, that's fine if you can't like talk to your classmates or talk to your coworkers about what you like, but it's just that, just a little bit of an added thing that is in the mix when you can't really connect to people on something so, just so interesting as the shows you grew up watching. And that's just like the, that's the positives. But if we go a little bit more negative when it comes to the tech culture, a lot of people are like gatekeepers. So when I talk about gatekeeping is I notice a lot of people are like, Oh, you're only a software engineer. You're like this. And if you're not exactly like this, then you're not on my level and you're not a software engineer. And I can't tell you the amount of times I have heard things like that. So for example, I've heard like, Only software engineers know X amount of languages. And if you don't know, languages really well, then you're not a software engineer. And like the number of languages changes based off the number of languages that person knows. Or they say things like, real engineers are back-end engineers. The reason why so many women are front-end engineers is because it's just like putting makeup on your code. <laughs> and just different things like that, like, oh, top engineers, you gotta work at a fan company. If you don't work at a fan company, then you're not a software engineer. I don't know if it's an insecurity thing, what's going on, but there's just a lot of gatekeeping and I am try to be inclusive, so I do not get that at all. Another thing when it comes to the tech culture is, or something that I experienced in college that I wasn't ready for, was like, if you were great at programming, it was like, people would bow down, it was part of people's identity, and yeah, and if you weren't great at programming, it's like, hmm, maybe you should do something else. And something I heard a lot while I was learning to code was that if you're not passionate about this, you shouldn't do coding. And on the surface, I know that sounds like okay advice, you know, because some people might be in it for the money, some people might be in it for another reason. And also, if someone's in it for the money, why do you care so much to tell them that they shouldn't be in this? But that's a whole nother story, just my opinion. But uh, yeah, so that's advice I got a lot. But for me, I was just trying to grasp coding. Like, I don't think you can be passionate about something if you don't know what it actually is. Like, uh, an example is Dexter. Okay, is this gonna be a quick example? But like, I tried watching that pilot episode like five times even more than five times like I just could not get through that pilot episode but there was something inside of me it's that gut feeling you can't explain that I was like I feel like I would like Dexter but I couldn't get through it so then I actually had a co-worker I was talking to him and then he was like oh 
you gotta watch like four episodes of any series to find out if you really like it or not. And I was like, dang, I gotta give up four hours to see if I like a show? And he's like, trust. You can really understand the characters, the direction, all that stuff, and you can see if you like it. So I remember I put on a timer, I was like, four hours? Let's go. And yo, it was like episode two in the middle of it. I was like, I love this show. And like to this day, Dexter is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. And that's the same thing for coding. In the beginning with coding, I was like, I was just not understanding it. However, as time went on, I slowly started to understand more and I slowly started to like it more. And then now, I couldn't see myself doing any other career. So that's why I don't like the gatekeepers that make up all these imaginary rules to try to separate people. So just know that about the tech culture. And maybe lawyers, doctors, you know, all these other different fields, they have variations of this. But before you become a software engineer, just know that, you know, there's gonna be some, like, my goodness. I remember I was in a study group and there was a tutor and the tutor was like laughing at someone's code. I guess it was badly written and like, him and these other people were really just laughing at it and to this day I don't get what was funny like I just that's not my personality and like again I don't know yeah that's the tech culture I wish I could say it's changed but from the DMs I get from people they basically saying the same situation I went through but it's just a different a different story so if you're watching this video and you are a gatekeeper, y'all get a new job. Why you wanna stand by the gate anyways? Like, let's be out here. Like, and even if you think the person should quit, keep it to yourself. Like, ugh, just ugh. Now, before you become a software engineer, and this is something that I love about software engineering now, however, I just was not ready for, was just like, if you are a person that values routine, like, that just goes out the window like you will always be learning that was just something I was just not expecting just because in my mind works I like to create lists I like structure procedure all that different stuff you know I do love creativity so that's why I love it now but just getting my mind to think about like an academic subject as something that doesn't have routine I don't know if I'm explaining it right it was just something that was so new to me so for example I've been at my company for like a year and a half now uh, they were using a different like framework before and now they're using something new it's like you always have to be learning like new syntax unless there are some jobs where you're just like upkeeping code so for example they might just say i just want someone that is just skilled in c plus plus because we have all the c plus plus code and you're just going to keep upkeeping that and just making sure that it's working fine so that could be your job but from my experience always learning something new and you can just look at if you look at the trend of like for example front end languages you will see how it evolves and a new one comes out that can just make our coding lives easier so just know that you will always be learning and getting comfortable with that i know in my advice for new coders uh video anton talked about how you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable so for example like you hear a new task or you're going to be touching a new part of the code base and just being like okay i don't know this yet however i'm ready to explore this and also when it comes to the debugging process that is huge. There's a problem in your code. Off the top of your head, you might not know what the problem is most of the time. So getting comfortable with like kind of being a detective a little bit and investigating is something that is huge in this field. So before you become a software engineer, we have to talk about the lack of diversity just because that was a huge culture shock to me. The school I ended up going to was less than 1% black the company I work at now is around 3% black and for some people this might not matter but I went to from like first grade to eighth grade the school I went to was like 90% black and then in high school my school was the majority black and Latino and I just wasn't used to being the only one so then when I got to these new spaces and people would say things like oh hand that to the black girl 
or like, oh wow, you're so nice for a black person, like just different things like that, that I just did not know how to take. So the lack of diversity is something you should definitely take into account. However, what I would do is look at companies that actually care about increasing diversity in tech, companies that maybe they recruit at schools that are like less than 1% black, but to also combat that, to actually get diverse applicants into the pool, they also go to schools that have like a black population and you know other um, like Native American, Latinx, like all the different minority groups in general. Like the diversity is just so beautiful to me. I love it so much. So if that is part of your values, definitely look for companies that that is also a part of their values as well. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you are enjoying this video, let me know, like you got to number five, what? You know you like this video. So make sure to leave a like and then also subscribe. That lets the YouTube algorithm know that you know, you like this video, maybe other people that like videos that you like will also like this one. So yeah, thank you for the like, thank you for the subscribe, appreciate it. But yeah, the last thing that you should know before you become a software engineer is that there's a lot of teamwork and the videos I watched had a lot of different opinions on this but this is from my experience is that you being alone in a room just like typing like that is not a thing at all like for example let's say you're working on some of the back-end code and you know, you have to reach out for this person to get a diagram of how that API works that you're about to edit. And then even when you're done editing it, you know, you have to actually test it with the front end code to see if it's still working. And then different things like even when you want to do a code review, you have to reach out to people on your team that's going to review your code, you're going to talk about it before it actually gets merged. And then let's say you want to release the code, you're not just going to be releasing out here, you know, you got to make sure you got to coordinate with other people. Maybe someone wants to release tomorrow, can you push it back, yada yada yada. Then you have to communicate this to the product manager and let them know like, hey, we're planning on releasing this to customers tomorrow, blah blah blah. And then this is the same for the front end let's say you're making a new feature on the user interface you got to talk to the design team to get the mock-ups for this you got to talk to the content team to make sure you have the create the correct content that is going to go on the page and then again you have to go to the QA process make sure it looks right with both design and content you also have to get your code approved by people on your team and then also maybe you have to talk to the analytics team to make sure we're tracking what needs to be tracked of the customer movement I can't, I don't think I can go, unless I'm working on a complete solo project, like I was one time, I think, you're not just going to be talking to yourself. Like there's so many different moving parts and people that you need to coordinate with that I feel like it's so social. Like. I think I spend a lot of like I spend time on Slack talking to people making sure we're on the same page and also spend a lot of time coding and it's just like it's a very very collaborative teamwork field so if you look at some of the memes of someone just alone coding I mean in college that was me trying to learn how to do this thing however I noticed the workforce was not like that but then also do research because maybe you like teamwork maybe you don't you can find companies that have those values and we made it so this is the before you become a software engineer video so thank you so much for watching appreciate all the support and yeah see ya